Okay, so here's my uh, latest project, that something a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to try and make myself a Iron Man helmet. So I attempted this many years ago. This is the start of a helmet I made uh, about five years ago. I uh, made the faceplate, made the helmet, and then put it all together and tried it on. It was too small. So this time around, um, I'm going to do a few things different. Uh, first of all, this time I'm going to make it out of foam, uh, EVA foam, instead of the last one I made out of fiberglass. Uh, That's just so it's easier, cheaper, lighter, um, and less of a headache if anything goes wrong. Uh, so to begin with, uh, I've got this file on Peppercura. I can't remember where I got this from, uh, but I've had it on my computer for about the five, last five years. So what I did this time, uh, just using Peppercura, so first thing I did was I go uh, measure distance between two points and I measured from this side of the helmet to this side of the helmet and it's about 180 to 190 millimeters. Uh, so I've scaled that and how I did that was I made these I made these out of cardboard, uh, they're calipers. So what I did was I measured uh, my head from ear to ear and that's about uh, that's about 185 to 190 mil. Uh, so then I went into uh, 2D menu change scale and I scaled it up by 10% which gave me the 189. Uh, you can fiddle around with that to get, you know, set your own scale or scale it down depending on the size of your head. So hopefully that should uh, give me the size I need. Uh, and I've got all my parts there, so I'm just going to print them out and start cutting them out on EVA foam. Okay, so I've got my pieces here, getting them ready to glue together. Um, so a little something, uh, something I should have taken into consideration before. Um, I'm having to cut bevels on these pieces here just to make sure that they get a nice uh, angled glue when I glue them there. Uh, I'm doing it now, but in hindsight, it would have been a lot easier to do, uh, a lot easier to do when I was cutting these pieces out. So that's something for next time. Uh, so I'm just using the heat gun to warm these up a little bit and then bend them to shape. Uh, I've also got uh, this is the start of an Iron Man helmet I made about five years ago, um, and this was as far as I got. So I'm just using this 
I guess as a brief guide uh, so I know what I'm doing and use that as reference. Hey, Roxy. Okay, so here's my progress so far. It's coming along not too badly. Uh, so yeah, this is my first time doing anything uh, like this with foam and contact cement. So a few things I'm learning. Um, first of all, leave the contact cement to dry as long as possible and then it gets a really, really good bond. And when it does bond, it's super instant, which is good and bad because once it glues, it's there forever. Uh, so I'm finding the easiest way to do it is just kind of line it up and then I don't know if you saw, I'll um, just kind of push the seams together with my fingers and that seems to do a good job and I'll come back and sand it and fill in any gaps once I'm done. Uh, also what I've done on the underside, uh, I found some of my bevels were a bit too extreme so I'm just filling them in with just a few wedges and then I'll cut them flush at the end. And you can see I've done the same there as well. Uh, so I think I'm going to continue with this top back bit here. Uh, that way I'll have all my main big pieces and then I can fit them and glue them all together. Just another thing I'm finding. Um, this uh, foam does not seem to like soaking up the glue. Uh, so I'm just finding every now and then, depending on the spot, I might have to do uh, apply a bit of glue, let it dry, and then apply a second one because the first one just soaks all all up into the foam. Uh, and I'm just using, I think I got this from Evil Ted or Odin or one of those guys. Just a small piece of foam I'm finding is easiest to to apply the glue. Okay, so next part of this, um, having a look at a f the file, there's about a 5mm line um, running along there. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't know if this is going to work, but I've got some 2.5, 3mm craft foam here. So I think I'm going to try and uh, glue two pieces of this together and use that as sort of a spacer. Alright, so here's the uh, helmet, about 90% of the way there. Um, I think that'll be it for this video for this week. Uh, sorry I didn't get too many uh, shots of me actually sticking it together. Camera angle was pretty bad and it probably wasn't that useful anyway. Um, so you can see I've got a few bit, bit of cleanup to do, a few gaps here and there, a bit of um, contact adhesive all over the place. Uh, so the next step, um, I've still got a few more pieces to stick in, um, but I'll do that, save that till later. Uh, it's looking pretty symmetrical. There's a little bit of a twist, uh, but that should be a fairly easy fix. I'll just, uh, I'll just give it a heat with a heat gun, and then it's fairly easy to. Uh, manipulate into the shape. Uh, so next 
thing I'll do is I'll knock off, knock back all these high spots where the seams are. I'll just use some sandpaper for that. I'll just knock these ridges back. Um, and then I've got some filler that I'll use to fill in any gaps and holes. And then hopefully that should be ready for painting. Uh, so, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll uh, just get a shot of that. Uh, if you could hit like, subscribe if you like my videos, uh, leave a comment, uh, any feedback, anything I've done wrong, any improvements. If you've got experience with this stuff, I'd greatly appreciate. Uh, so, thanks.